focus on the world of big data. So imagine if we lived in a world where every movement, every word, every action, every purchase was recorded. Imagine then if all of these recordings were then used to predict your next move, to forecast your predisposition to diseases, to suggest your, your lifetime partner, or maybe simply to suggest the next movie you should watch on Netflix. We already do. That's the world of big data all around us. This could see, let's say, one day on the metro in China. The next one. This probably reminds you of your typical commute to work in the morning. This one, so the other two I got off of um, Google Images search. This one I took myself on the metro in Moscow. So you can start to see a pattern, right? Now let's compare this with the past. Here you've got the past. Can you see the difference? Think about it. What has really changed and is very important is the fact that everything is being recorded because we're now performing those habits in a different way, a different mode, a different form. And this is generating a ton of data. This data generation is what sparked all of this big data talk. Instagram users post over 50,000 pictures every minute. And Google search globally gets almost 5 million search queries every minute. Twitter users tweet over 500,000 times a minute. And lastly, we send 188 emails every minute. This is a massive amount of data, and it's just waiting to be exploited.